got the train into the city centre, then got the metro to our hotel. We are staying at the Student Hotel City. There's one in West as well, which is a bit cheaper, but this is ideal because it's like central to everything. This is like really, really quirky. The interior downstairs is really cool as well. So this is our bed. Right here, waiting for you. We've got a TV. No, uh, free arrival drinks with just a little package that I uh, brought. So, our coupon. They gave us these like caramel waffles, which I can't remember the name of, but I know they're like a Dutch treat. Tissues slash issues. There is a coffee machine and a kettle, and it's all like Nescaf pods and tea. Some really cool teas in there. Looking forward to trying them. We got some water and a bag. And this is the bathroom. Uh, shower, towels, some shampoo, and some body wash. To Hard Rock for tea and then we headed on back and went to the Alberheim which is like co-op supermarket kind of thing got a few bits a girl on YouTube um, actually recommended these so looking forward to these one of the Hard Rock glasses some muffins the caramel which is so it's day two and we are off to the food hallen which is like this massive indoor food market kind of thing and then we're going to house of bowls which is the geneva slash gin experience in amsterdam uh, oh and we forgot the tickets for it so i'm hoping i can get it up on my phone if not it's a bit awkward because it's like an hour walk from where our hotel is but yeah, hopefully it'll be okay. And it's really windy, so if you can't hear anything, I'm sorry. Our continuous quest for innovation brought us to the forefront of the cocktail revolution. See that drop? It was the beginning of a great adventure. With countless flavor experiments in an Amsterdam distillery called Het Lodse, founded in 1575. See that drop? You know the people we flew with? Here's a collection. Oh, that's so cool. And they get these little little canal houses. Which are these things. And there's loads and loads of them in here. So if you haven't guessed already, we are on the House of Balls tour, which is the main gin distillery of uh, Amsterdam. Yeah, you go through this hour and a half tour and end out in a cocktail experience, which I'm looking forward to. We're currently in the second room of the tour. I feel like I am in Willy Wonka's factory or something. Look at this. What on earth? So this is like the art of flavour thing where we drink this little vial that we were given when we got our tickets which is a bit ominous I must say. So there's all these things and we have to choose one of three doors which are these. So we have to choose a door and go in where we get told to drink this. You ready? 
I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Scan your audio device to start the experience. Open the flask you received at the entrance. Hope you enjoyed this cocktail for the senses. So my camera died so things look a bit different because I'm using my phone. So hopefully it won't make it better. Picking up a few bits from the gift shop as presents for people. Got ourselves some tiki glasses. We were debating on getting this thing though, but we thought these would be a bit more practical. And you got all of the flavours in here as well. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. We are renting bikes and heading to the old town today. I've not ridden a bike since I was like 11 or something, so I am a little bit nervous about this. Hopefully it'll be all right. So we're at the Happy Pig and this is my pancakes. It's the size of my hand. That's how long it is. I think Kai's got a waffle. Found some uh, real clogs. <laughs> so we went to the Bloomer Market, which is the biggest uh, floating flower market, and then we went to the Magna Plaza, which is a bit of a letdown. There wasn't really much in it. Now we're just wandering. So chips and mayonnaise. I assume this is where we're going to go around. We see Central Station. Central Station is a very uh, beautiful building, as you can see. 
It's uh, from the same architect as the Rijks Museum, so you maybe see the same uh, contours in the, in the construction. And it's a very special because it's uh, constructed on 30,000 wooden piles. Almost uh, the whole city was constructed on wooden piles, so if you turn it around, then you literally see a forest again. You see all the fountains, and in the back you see like a... Uh, uh, yeah, it's... how can we call it? A, a wave blower? And there's a projection... Uh, within it, so it has a very cool effect when you, when you see it, when you're looking at it. You said the same thing I told ya My eyes are clear, there's no secret I wanna know, was it serious? I need it clear this is the Amstel River. And this is the only natural waterway in Amsterdam. And uh, the city of Amsterdam was also pulled off to this river because back in the days it was Amstel, that means water area. And then uh, the city council constructed a dam in the middle of uh, Amstel, and afterwards it was Amstel Dam, Amstel Dam. Uh, symbol for the LGTB community we have in Amsterdam. We have a very big uh, community. And beside that, of course, it's also very nice. Uh, it's an easy to show. With the weight of the world on my shoulders I know I told you It's the best slide I know It's not a game that I am playing My love Trying to hold my feeling I don't know what's right I'll find the best way I think that I might I know you made it in the nick of time I'm calling on So we had a pizza dinner cruise which was pretty cool because there's the light festival on at the moment and we actually went past a lot of the pieces that are a part of it which was really good to see and they were really cool. I would definitely recommend, I will try and leave a link or something to it below because it was really cool, it was really informative. Then went down to the red light district which was definitely an experience. Like I'm not really sure what I thought it'd be but I thought it'd be more red. Like <laughs> it sounds stupid but I thought there'd be more red lights than there was. <laughs> it's not as red as I thought it'd be. But it's just crazy walking down the street and seeing all these women against the glass and yeah, it was a bit, it was a bit weird. Cool, but weird. And then uh, we went back and got our bikes, cycled to the Albert High and got some more snacks and stuff. And yeah, we're just back in our hotel. It's the last night before we go back. I'll show you what I got yesterday. So we went to the House of Bowls, which I would have shown you and got a few bits in there, but they're all wrapped up. So I don't really want to go into all of that. We kept our little, uh, taste the flavour glasses things, which was that weird light and movement experience. Then we went to the Amsterdam Cheese Factory where Kai had to decide what he was going to get. Do you even know what type of cheese this is? Edam. Edam cheese. Well, he got this giant thing. I'll give you a Oh, do you wrap it up? Some papers keep it fresh. And then I found an American sweet shop where they had watermelon pop tarts, which I just had to get. Limited edition. Huh? Limited edition. Limited edition ones. I've literally never even heard of these ones before. I have quite a lot of pop tarts, but these I've not even heard of. So I can't wait to try these. So that's all that we brought yesterday. Then we just got a few snacks for tonight. Oh, we still have not had breakfast here once yet. We've always slept in, so we actually haven't even had the breakfast, which was part of the offer that I brought, but... Oh well, and we also had free drinks as part of that as well, which we still haven't had, so we're going to have them before we leave tomorrow to go to the airport, and um, yeah, that's it for today. So it is our last day in Amsterdam, and it's actually started to snow today. It's getting heavier as we speak. Kind of like trying to keep our eye on flights, whether we'll be able to leave. We have to be out of here by 12, so we're just packing everything up. And then we're off to the Heineken Brewery, which we've actually walked past pretty much every day. But we're actually going on the tour today, and I'm going to have my first Heineken. This is 
is our beer bracelet. Heineken bottles. And then it's all Heineken. How oh, cool. Okay guys, this is the key for the Heineken experience, so I would definitely recommend getting skip the line tickets if you can before you go. So we have this uh, beautiful canal and then there's a clock boat. <laughs> Look at it! I think it's for a cafe. Cafe de Les or something? How cool is that? Oh look, there it is! Advertisement at its best. So we're now in the airport, <laughs> waiting for a flight. Just bought some amazing sandwiches from Bread and Co. Well, Amsterdam Bread and Co. Tucking right in to uh, pass the time. Well, I think we should go straight there, but Meg seems to think we need to download something for an hour of flight. But we yeah. have over an hour until our flight, and you want to go. So we left the Heineken experience and headed down to like the main street of Amsterdam. Brought a few gifts. I found some maple bacon pop tarts. So excited for that. And um, oh, and I got some clog slippers, which I'll show you when I get home. You can get two 250 milliliters um, of Heineken or you can get one 350 of extra ice cold which is what we did because we're not really fans of it we were just there because it's done it you do but you also get a taster one during the tour as well so you end up having three slash two. Oh, that was the other thing the breakfast at the hotel was terrible do not buy that for 14 euros definitely would not recommend that 